We are Stefan and Monique, and this is our van Mitsumatsu. Together we're trying to get to Mongolia, but because of things happening in the world right now, some borders are really hard to get through. So watch us struggle to get to Mongolia and see with us whatever we'll find on the way. Slovenia and we got to sleep in the vineyards. We couldn't sleep exactly here because it was far too muddy because it was raining quite a lot. But look at this view. which is in Brda, which is the wine region of Slovenia on the east and it's very cute So this is the Ferrari garden and here you have the pool, but it's quite empty right now. But there is a whole cool sewage system connected to the whole city to fill this pool and water the gardens. And there it's one part of it where they catch rainwater and then put it into the, into the pool. But they also catch rainwater from the roofs and from the streets. And the only thing you hear in the gardens are the birds and some annoying tours. Interesting sound houses. Castle, there's a whole system of caveways which are especially built for the person that is living here and there's also this little alleyway going into the castle but now the castle is closed so we can't go in because we're a little bit late but now we have the uh, surroundings all to ourselves, which is also pretty cool. This is the main door of the church. And above you see the Pope who visited uh, Slovenia in 1960s and that's when the doors were made and then you see the bishops and the history of Christianity in Slovenia, in Slovenia. layer of 
of snow and it just looks so magical like we're still in the middle of winter even though we're far in spring but in the Netherlands now it also has snow so I guess climate change Behind the castle, again, are the Alps. And this is Lake Tolhini. They say it's a more natural lake. Another So this is Lake Tolhini, as I was saying. And it's a lesser known, but still quite touristy in the high season. This one is so clear that even in the middle of the lake you can still see the fish swimming. And you can also see them catching uh, flies from above the water. So today we're going to do the Sacha Trail. And we're now here. And this is all the river Sacha. And actually everything is super pretty. And we wanted to drive this road yesterday through the Alps but it was closed because of the snow so now we drove all the way around until here and then we're going to walk just a little bit down you can go all the way to Bovech but that's very far so we'll just do a small part
the back there. Here. Here. It's a thermal hot spring. And who knows where we will be next week.